Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yeah. Okay, Good everybody, sir. welcome to this new session. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Here we go. Okay, can everybody see the screen I'm sharing? Yes, teacher. Great. All right, so first things yes. first, we need to, well, I'm going to call the attendance. So just give me a moment. It is here. Okay. All right, when I call your name, please, uh, let me know you're here. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Jose Luis Hernández Flores. Present. Thank you. Josué Isaías Najarro Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela Portillo García. I'm here. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Paola María Alvarado Cerón. Present. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Permítanme, aquí está. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Alguien que no haya mencionado. Que tal vez. Uh, me hay... teacher, Gabriela. Gabriela. Estefani Gabriela Stephanie. Gabriela. ¿Dónde está? Déjame ver. Ah, ya la encontré. Gabriela Stephanie Cortés. Ok, thank you. ¿Alguien más? Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más que no haya mencionado? O que sí mencioné, pero a lo mejor se incorporaron después de que los haya mencionado. ¿Alguien que no haya escuchado su nombre? Ok. Bueno, comenzamos entonces. Everybody, let's begin. Welcome once again. This is Inglés Preavanzado Módulo 2. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. And this is session number two. Today is January the 19th, 2023. Let's begin. We have a lot of work to do. What is the lesson objective today? Participants will listen to a conversation about problems. Well, we will read the conversation. And uh, See, keep a need with gerunds and need with passive infinitives in context. This is not difficult. You will see. It's actually very easy. So that's 1.4, section 1.4. And here in the dashboard, let me show you. Well, it's taking a while. 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. 
this an exercise this 1.4 okay right here that's uh lesson objective and right now we're going to do this part it keeps burning okay that's the name of it you'll see a video explained that uh, by miss jessica okay but right now we're going to focus on this there's a conversation it keeps burning so I want you to practice this. For this activity, I need uh, two volunteers. I need a boy or a man and a lady, please. A gentleman and a lady. Gladys, okay, now. Uh, you have Rosa Maybe. Esmeralda, but oh, okay, okay. Um, thank you, Rosa, <laughs> but we need a girl and a boy. So who's the other one who said me? I'm sorry, Jose Luis. Was it Jose Luis? Alguien me dijo, me teacher. Okay, uh, we're going to go with okay. Gladys and, and, okay, Carlos, Carlos me indicó primero. Okay, Carlos Alfredo. All right, Gladys and Carlos. And for the rest, I'm going to give you a chance to participate later on in the class. So um, what are we going to do? Uh, Gladys, I want you to uh, play Miss Luck and Carlos, Mr. Burr, okay? So Gladys, you begin. Hello. Hello, Hello. Mr. Hello, Ms. This is Jack Burr. Huh, Mr. Burr. Uh, in apartment uh, 305. 305. Oh, yes. What, I, what can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Miss Luck. Huh, but by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So Miss Luck says, hello. She's the landlady. And Mr. Burr says, hello, Miss Luck. This is Jack Burr. Miss Luck says, um, Mr. Burr. And Mr. Burr says, in apartment 305. Miss Luck says, oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? Mr. Burr says, no, it's the oven this time. Miss Locke says, oh, so what's wrong with it? Mr. Burr says, well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Miss Locke says, really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Mr. Burr says, thanks a lot, Miss Locke. And Miss Locke says, um, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? All right. So before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions in the conversation? If you have questions, remember, raise your hand. Siempre la indicación, levantemos la manita, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo en orden. Any questions about vocabulary or expressions? Gladys, and then Carlos. And why is, is 305 and not 305? Ah, because this is not a quantity. This is a code. Normally, when you talk about telephone numbers or house numbers, or apartment numbers or room numbers, you say number by number, okay? Because it's not a quantity. So you say 305, you can say 305, but it's more common to say 305. So oh. yep. mm -hmm. that's how that's it neat. is. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Carlos Alfredo, do you have a question? Yeah, I have two questions. 
Okay. The first one, um, what is the pronunciation? Uh, temperature or temperature? Temperature. Temperature, okay. Temperature. The, the second one, um, what is the meaning? Uh, cook. Uh, oh, omen. Excuse me, oven. Ah, what do, is you the see the, do you see the picture right here? That's the oven where you put the turkey oh. and the pizza. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, that's, I... that's the oven right here. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, no more questions. We will continue. All right, uh, Rosa Esmeralda, your, your hand is up. Do you have a question? Um, what are these? Um, okay, um, gifts. Um, um, K E E P C K. Mm, ah, keeps burning. Okay, the oven keeps burning everything, keeps burning. O sea que sigue quemando todo lo que cocino. That's the meaning. Keep doing something means continue doing something again and again and again. So when he says um, the oven keeps burning everything I try to cook, he says, el horno sigue quemando todo lo que trato de cocinar. Okay. No sabemos si es el horno o si es a él que se le, queman, se le queman las cosas. But yeah, that's the meaning. When something keeps doing something means it continues doing something. It does it again and again and again and so on. All right. Here we go. Lesson objective. Okay, at the end of this section, participants will learn to use and comprehend the use of keep and need with gerunds. And will also be able to practice need plus passive infinitives. Let's take a good look. We're going to do several exercises, but it's not difficult. It's not difficult, but I want you to pay close attention. Grammar focus. Describing problems part two. Yesterday we studied how to describe certain problems. When you say, for example, the base is chipped, uh, the window is cracked, okay? The screen is scratched, et cetera, et cetera. But today uh, we're going to learn how to describe problems in a different way. The first way is here, keep plus a gerund. Everything keeps burning, okay? When you say this, you are complaining about a problem that continues, that goes on and on, okay? It's a constant problem. Everything keeps burning. Todo se quema, okay? The alarm keeps going off, by the way. This is something here that we need to say. The alarm goes off. This is a phrasal verb, okay? When you say go off, this is the sound of an alarm. For example, if you set the alarm on your cell phone, right? You have a cell phone, so you set the alarm every morning, okay? And you set the alarm for 5 a.m. So at 5 a.m., some music plays and you wake up. That's the moment when the alarm goes off, okay? It's cuando suena la alarma. The alarm goes off. So the alarm keeps going off. Okay, you turn it off, but again, it starts going off again. You turn it off and then it starts going off. It sounds over and over. So that's the idea. When you say keep plus a gerund. Now, what's the gerund? The gerund is the ing form of a verb. So everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a way to express or to describe a problem. What about this? You have need plus a gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. This is something that you can say when you are proposing a solution to a problem. The oven needs adjusting. Okay, if everything keeps burning, maybe maybe you need to adjust the oven. So you say the oven needs adjusting. If the alarm keeps going off, then the alarm needs fixing. In other words, you need to fix the alarm. 
All right. And the last one, need plus a passive infinitive. How does it work? This is the passive voice that you have studied before. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. So basically, you have two forms of saying this. If the oven keeps burning everything, then you say the oven needs adjusting, or you can say the oven needs to be adjusted. Notice the difference right here. If you just say needs and then a gerund, that's ing form. But if you use the passive infinitive, you need to use, you have to use need plus to be, always to be, and then a verb in past participle. It needs to be adjusted. Second example, if the alarm keeps going off and that's a problem, then you propose a solution. The alarm needs fixing. The alarm needs fixing. Or you can say the alarm needs to be fixed. Again, notice that in the first form, you just need the verb need, and then you need the verb in ing. That's the gerund. In the second form, that's the passive voice, you use need plus the passive infinitive. You have to use to be. Always you use to be. And after that, the verb in past participle. OK, not the ing form, the past participle. Two ways of expressing this. So what are we going to do? We have some exercises. And this is not in um, this is not in the manual and this is not in the platform. This is extra. OK, this is extra. So I want you to take a look at this. Just give me a moment. I need to move one element out of this slide. OK, so take a look. Ghost, listen, but we're going to practice it because unfortunately I don't have the audio file. So we're going to change listen for read. <laughs> OK, read. What is Isaac good at fixing? Practice the conversation. Now, I need two volunteers. Again, one boy and one girl, but different people this time. OK, Estela, we have one girl. We need one boy. Volunteer, please. Me, okay. teacher. OK, uh, Walter René, you just raise your hand. OK, so Lilian Estela and Walter René. Um, Lilian, you read Anna's part. And uh, Walter René, I want you to read Isaac's part. Let's okay. do it. Isaac, something wrong. something's wrong with the shower. It won't turn off completely. It keeps dripping. OK, before we continue, Anna says, Isaac, something's wrong with the shower. As you can see in the picture, it won't turn off completely. I mean, you try to turn it off completely, but there's a problem. It keeps dripping. It keeps leaking. That's the idea. Now, you have the expression or an example of the expression we just studied right here. Let's go back. Keep plus a gerund. This is what you use when you want to complain about something, when you want to express that there is a problem. So it keeps dripping. You know, the drops keep falling. Plop, plop. OK, Walter René, please. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the show, show uh, needs replacing. OK, thank you. Uh, Isaac says, well, um, let's work on the intonation here. He says, yeah. Like saying, really? Yeah. Maybe the shower head needs replacing. What is the shower head? This right here is the shower head. And now take a look. There is another example of what we have been studying. Needs replacing. Let's go back. You use need plus a gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. The shower head needs replacing. In other words, somebody has to replace the shower head for a new one. Thank you. Uh, Lillian, please continue. Oh, uh, it's probably just a washer of something that needs to be replaced. Can you take a look at this? Take a look at it. Okay, thank you. Lillian, um, 
Anna says, oh, it's probably just a washer. Do you understand the meaning of washer? What is a washer? A washer is usually a very small piece that goes inside, you know, um, plumbing devices. It's usually black and it's made of rubber. Okay. What do you call this in Spanish? Okay, empaque. El empaque. Yeah, that's right. That's the washer. Correct. Oh, it's probably just a washer or something that needs to be replaced. Now, look at this. Example number three. Needs to be replaced. Let's go back. Need plus a passive infinitive. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. And in this case, it needs to be replaced. Ahí tenemos tres ejemplos exactos de lo que vimos anteriormente. Okay. Can you take a look at it? Can you check? And then I success, Walter? Uh, me? I'm not a plumber. I don't even know what's wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I success me. I'm not a plumber. I don't even know what's wrong with it. So Anna says. Uh, Lillian? I know, but you're always so good when the TV needs to be fixed, you know. When the screen needs adjusting. Thank you. Anna says, I know, but you're always so good when the TV needs to be fixed. This need plus a passive infinitive needs to be fixed. You know, when the screen needs adjusting. Again, need plus a gerund. The screen needs adjusting. And Isaac says, Yeah, well, that's an emergency. That's an emergency. <laughs> Priorities. Okay, yeah, I success. Well, yeah, that, that's an emergency. Okay, uh, Lillian and Walter, thank you very much. Thank you for reading. Now, find two different ways to say we need to replace the shower head in the conversation. I'm going to change the color of it to make it look better, a little bit better, maybe darker. Okay, yeah. So find two different ways to say we need to replace the shower head in the conversation. ¿Cómo lo dirían? Let's see. I want you to raise your hand. Alejandra Magaña. The shower head needs replacing. The shower head needs replacing. Or oh, needs to be replaced. Or the shower head needs to be replaced. Correct? Very good. Yeah, exactly. The shower head needs replacing or the shower head needs to be replaced. Okay? Easy. It's not really difficult. So let's take a look at uh, some extra information about it. So first we have need plus a passive infinitive and need plus a verb in ing. You can use need to talk about things that should be done. Ah, before we continue, remember, this is uh, this part of the presentation is not in the manual and it is not in the platform. But always remember that this uh, class is being recorded, and then I will always upload it at the end. Okay, so if you need to take a look at this again, well, you just go to the YouTube channel. You can watch it as many times as you want. So let's continue. You can use need to talk about things that should be done. First, you have need plus a passive infinitive. You say, for example, the TV needs to be fixed. Or the screen needs to be adjusted. You can also use need plus the verb in ing. The TV needs fixing. The screen needs adjusting. Okay. Sorry. Now, the structure need plus the verb in ing, that means this one, is mainly used for everyday chores like fixing, changing, cleaning, adjusting, replacing, recharging, etc. Okay, again, this is extra information. So it's your turn. Okay, 
Complete the sentences below in two ways. You have to use need plus a passive infinitive and need plus a verb in ing. For this activity, and there are 20 people connected. I don't know if it's 20 with me. Okay, so there are 19 people connected. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be working on breakout rooms. Okay, I want you to complete this exercise. It comes in two parts. Okay, so this is part one. And then in the next slide, you will have part two. Um, I'm going to form the breakout rooms right now. Take a look. Let's see. We're going to be working in four. OK, so uh, I'm going to create the breakout rooms now. And uh, pay close attention. These are the, the rooms. OK, the first group, this is room one. We have, sub, uh, sorry, Gladys Imelda Sanchez. Josué Isaías Najarro, Luis Fernando Enríquez, Olivia Osorio, and Victoria Mirón. Room two, Astrid Michelle Flores, Ever de Jesús Candray, Lilian Estela Portillo, Rosa Esmeralda Hernández, and Walter René Quintanilla. Room number three, Alejandra Magaña, Carlos Alfredo Ramos Águila, Manuel Aristides Murcia, Paola María Alvarado Cerón, and Sandra Cecilia Munguia. And in room four, Claudia Yanet Iraeta, Gabriela Cortez, Jose Luis Hernandez Flores, Vanessa Sosa, and Jenny Sanchez. Now, um, I want you to, to do me a favor. Uh, acordémonos siempre que el, el uso de los breakout rooms o el objetivo del breakout room es que puedan interactuar entre ustedes, ¿verdad? Que la interacción no sea únicamente entre ustedes de manera individual y yo. ¿Verdad? Esto es una simulación, digámoslo así, en estas circunstancias, ya que no estamos en un salón de clase todos en un mismo espacio físico. Esta es una simulación de un grupo de trabajo, ¿verdad? Es como que les dijeran, trabajan en grupo. Les digo esto porque muchas veces me pasa que yo le digo a la gente, mire, trabajemos en el breakout room, formamos el breakout room y yo luego entro a cada uno de ellos para ver, para monitorear, digámoslo así, lo que están haciendo y me encuentro que la gente está así calladita, nadie está diciendo nada, todas están trabajando de forma individual. Bueno, cada quien tiene su forma de trabajar. Sin embargo, si, si nos metemos al breakout room para no comunicarnos con nadie, entonces no tiene sentido crear el breakout room, ¿verdad? Así que la invitación es, cuando usted ingrese, no tenga vergüenza de comunicarse con sus compañeros y trabajemos en conjunto, hablemos, esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Hablar. No quedarnos callados o que unos dos estén trabajando y los demás solo estén oyendo. No, por favor, hagamos ahí el esfuerzo. Ok, I'm going to uh, form the breakout rooms and I'm going to send this exercise via WhatsApp. Ok, I'm going to put it in the group. Because um, when I enter the breakout rooms, I cannot show the screen. Ok, I'll, I'll um, open the breakout rooms now. Please, everybody, join them. Let's begin. Todos, por favor, ingresemos al breakout room correspondiente. El ejercicio ya fue enviado por medio de WhatsApp. Pueden revisar su, el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Y ahí ver el ejercicio. Voy a comenzar a ingresar a los, a los breakout rooms. Be the first. Excuse me. The need to be correct. Needs to be upgrade. 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 Okay. Up upgraded, right? Upgraded. Okay. 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 Good. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's very nice. The next one. 
Maybe the is, memory. Maybe the memory needs upgrading. Upgrading. What about the rest? Only two people are speaking. Come on, let's participate. Let's participate. Everybody. <laughs> Don't be shy. Okay. All right. Um, what about number two? What do you have? There's a problem with our car. The brakes need to be adjusted. The brakes adjusted. need to be adjusted. Okay, good. Adjusted. Or? The brakes need adjusting. The, bra the brakes need adjusting. Very good. Okay, nice. I want you to continue working on this and um, I'll have to visit another group right now. Please continue. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Cell phone needs to be recharged. Sorry, can you repeat? My cell phone needs to be recharged. Oh, okay. My cell phone needs to be recharged. Recharge. Recharge the past participle. Uh -huh. Or what is the other form? My cell phone. My cell phone needs recharging my cell phone needs recharging very mm -hmm. good okay mm -hmm. great great what about okay. the last one the, but um my camera is a white gold yes my um my camera the... uh, is always going dead mm -hmm. Se apaga sola. my camera is always going dead so the batteries the batteries um, I need replacing. The batteries need replacing. replacing. Need replacing. Good. Need or replacing. need to be replaced. The batteries need to be replaced. Very good. Okay. Nice. Vamos a cambiar ya a la segunda parte del ejercicio y voy a aprovechar para visitar a los otros grupos. Okay. Um. Here we go. Everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms for a moment, okay? Because I um, we're going to check the exercises on this slide and then we're going to uh, do the second one. We have one minute. We have 35 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay, everybody's back. All right. Um, what about the first one? My computer is very slow. I need a volunteer. Raise your hand, please. Me, teacher. Who is me? Carlos Alfredo. Okay, Carlos. Always remember, Carlos, um, you can raise your hand. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay Carlos. No problem. Okay, Carlos. <laughs> Thank you very much. So my <laughs> computer is very slow. What can you do about it? Uh, maybe the memory needs to be upgraded. Needs to be upgraded. Okay, good. Or? Or maybe the memory needs upgrading. Okay, very good. Maybe the memory needs upgrading or maybe the memory needs to be upgraded. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. All right. 
Now take a look, needs. You need to use an S because it's the memory. It needs. Remember that you use the verb with an S, present simple for the subjects he, she, and it. So maybe the memory needs upgrading. The memory needs to be upgraded. What about the second one? Please raise your hand. Alejandra, there's a problem with our car. The freight, the freight is not the the brakes uh -huh. breakers needs it adjusting adjusting the brakes need adjusting need adjusting okay need in this case we don't use an s right because the brakes is a plural noun the brakes need adjusting okay thank you alejandra and what about the second one to be adjusted to be adjusted okay the brakes need to be adjusted okay there you go the brakes need adjusting the brakes need to be adjusted thank you alejandra what about number three? Raise your hand, please. What are you having, number three? You can participate. Vamos, sin miedo al éxito. Lo peor que puede pasar es que, que lo corrijamos. Lo vamos a hacer con, con toda la educación del mundo, ¿verdad? OK, Ever de Jesús, then Lilian, Estela, then Josué, Isaías, and then Gladys, Imelda. Okay, we need to do this in order. So, Ever de Jesús and then Lilian for the fourth one. Ya vamos a cambiar el siguiente ejercicio y ahí van a participar los demás. Okay, Ever, I can't make any calls right now because... Okay, because good evening for everyone. Yes. Good evening. I enter into the class right now, but I Don't think worry. I myself, myself from need to be recharged needs to be recharged yeah that's one what about the other one and, and the second one my cell phone need recharging correct my cell phone needs recharging or my cell phone needs to be recharged okay very good thank you ever uh lilian number four my camera is always going dead the batteries needs replacing. Is it needs or need? I get need because it's plural. Yeah, uh -huh. the batteries need replacing, correct? Or and the batteries needs need to be replaced. The batteries need to be replaced. Correct. Thank you, Lillian. Very good. Now, um, there's the second part of the exercise, but we are not going to work on the breakout rooms. We're going to do it here, live. Ah, Gladys. Yeah, I, I, I have a question. What's your question? How uh, we can know how say the ED for the last for, to the work? You mean like adjusted? You mean the pronunciation? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I can explain that, but that will take a very long time. <laughs> okay. Una explicación para eso. Um, there is a, a, a method for that. Yes. The problem oh. is explaining the method will take an entire class. <laughs> Pero oh, vaya, okay. quiero ver cómo podemos hacer. Tal vez eh, el día de mañana, si en una escapadita rapidita, podemos dar una explicación sobre cómo pronunciar el, el pasado y el pasado participio de los verbos regulares, que es ese ed que cuesta, ¿verdad? Que a veces suena como d, a veces suena t y a veces suena id, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, pero de nuevo, no es algo que se pueda explicar en cinco minutos. Nos llevaría, aunque agarráramos ahorita el resto de la clase, no terminamos. Pero vamos a ver si el día de mañana podemos dedicar un tiempo para explicar la pronunciación de eso. Ok. Ok, you. ok, you're welcome. Ok, next exercise. Now, we're going to do this here, live. Our air conditioner, air conditioner, I'm sorry, isn't working very well. Volunteers, please. It's all the same idea. Jose Luis.
maybe the filter needs to be clean. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the filter needs cleaning. That's right. Maybe the filter needs cleaning or maybe the filter needs to be cleaned. Okay. Thank you, Jose Luis. That is correct. Next volunteer, please, who wants to participate, Jenny Sanchez. One of our bookshelves is falling apart. Está cayendo en pedazos. So one of our bookshelves is falling apart. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be fixed or? It, it needs fixing. Mm -hmm. It needs fixing or it needs to be fixed. Very good. Thank you, Jenny Sanchez. Nice. Um, what about the next one? Volunteers, please. Who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Raise your hand. Nobody wants to participate anymore. Come on. No, hombre, tengo 20 alumnos, bueno, 19 y solo los mismos, las mismas seis personas, siete personas me participan. Vamos. Ok. We go with Walter and then Luis and then Sandra Cecilia for the next one. I promise, Sandra. Pero recuérdenme, porque si no se me olvida. Ok, Walter. There are bills and papers all over the house. Um, the microphone, Walter. Sorry, it's okay. They they need uh, they need filing. They need filing, correct? Or they need to be filed. They need to be filed, filed. correct? Necesitan ser archivados. They need to be filed. Very good. Thank you, uh, Luis Fernando. Our piano is out of tune. That's a final. Our piano is out of tune. It really to be tuned. It uh, really okay. It really it really needs to be tuned. It really needs to be tuned. Okay. Okay. Good. It really needs to be tuned. Or what is the other form? Luis Fernando. It really needs uh, tuning. It really needs tuning or it really needs to be tuned. Necesita ser afinado. Okay, very good. Everybody, thank you for your participation. That was great. Let's continue. There are more exercises here. Now we're going to study some vocabulary. Again, this is extra. This is not in the material. This is not in the manual, but it's good to know. Now, your turn, take a look. Anna is pointing out more problems to Isaac. Poor Isaac, look at his face. He's tired. <laughs> okay, so complete the sentences. You need to complete the sentences with the words from the box. So for example, let's see, let's go with number one. Ah, Jenny, sorry, did you want to participate? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Number one. So the blah, blah, blah isn't working. Nothing's happening. It won't turn on. I'm going to give this one to you as an example. It's the microwave. All right. And you have it here in the picture. Here's the microwave. Microwave oven. So the microwave isn't working. Nothing's happening. It won't turn on. No enciende. It won't turn on. What about number two? And look at the picture because the picture is key to solving this exercise. Number two. Rosa. Court tonight. The, the curtain is leaking. No, it's not the curtain. No, sorry. It's a different word. Okay. Vamos el dibujo ahí. ¿Qué está chorreando por ahí? The refrigerator. Uh -huh, that's right. So, uh, Sandra, thank you. So, the refrigerator is leaking and there is a dent in the door. Now, let's take a look at the vocabulary. There is a dent. What is a dent? 
Look at the door. That's a dent. Una abolladura. There could be a dent in the door of your refrigerator or a dent in the door of your car, for example. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. What about number three? Volunteer, please raise your hand. Astrid Michelle. Lamp. Okay, the lamp keeps flickering on and off. And I got a shock from it. Okay, it keeps flickering, psh, 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 turning on and off. Okay, usually with the lights. And I got a shock from it. What is the meaning? Meaning this person touched the lamp and uh, she could feel some electricity. Psh, ow! Okay, she got a shock from it. Good. What about number four? Raise your hand, please. Always raise your hand, remember. Claudia Yanet, and then Rosa Esmeralda. Okay, Claudia? The doorknob. The doorknob is loose, correct. If it falls off, we won't be able to open the door. So what is the doorknob? You have it right here. Here's the door, door sorry, doorknob. También se le llama solo knob, pero se puede decir doorknob. So the doorknob is loose. What is the meaning of loose? Como sobado. Mm, <laughs> más o menos. <laughs> sí, flojo, más bien. Flojo. Okay. Flojo, okay. Sí, cuando se soban las cosas quedan flojas, así que sí. So yeah, the doorknob is, is loose. If it falls off, si se cae, if it falls off, we won't be able to open the door. Very good. Um, so uh, let's see. Rosa wanted to participate. And then Gladys. Rosa, no? Or Gladys, number five? The ceiling fan. The ceiling fan is making a funny noise, okay? Yeah, you have it here. This is the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan is making a funny noise. Now, what is funny, by the way? What is the meaning of funny? Chistoso, ¿verdad? Pero no en este caso. Cuando usted se está, uh, digamos, está hablando de un problema, que tiene algo y ocupa la palabra funny, no es que sea chistoso. Es ¿Molesto? que está, es, no, más bien extraño. No. Extraño, más bien. So funny means strange or weird. La gente dice, por ejemplo, the water or this water tastes funny. No es que el agua sepa chistoso, no, más bien, sabe raro. Okay, the water tastes is funny. When you say it makes a funny noise, you see the fun is making a funny noise, like eh, 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 eh. so it's making a funny noise. That's the meaning of funny right there. Okay, si sí, es chistoso, por supuesto, pero no en este contexto. So uh, the ceiling fan is making a funny noise. Um, what about number six? Vanessa. Um, the coffin is the rug. The rug. Well, let's take a look. Has a big scratch on it. Has a big scratch. What has a big scratch here? On the table. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. The table has a big scratch on it. Mm hmm has a big scratch. This is what we studied yesterday. It has a scratch on it. Good. What about, thank you, Anissa. What about number seven? Who wants to participate? Jenny Sanchez. That curtain is torn. Mm -hmm. That and curtain look, is torn. Oh, sorry. Yes, please continue. And look, there is a big hole in the other one. Yes. That curtain is torn. This is what we studied yesterday. Está rota, right? The curtain is torn. And look, there is a big hole in the other one. You see, the curtain is torn and there is a hole 
in the other one. What about number eight? What do you have? Raise your hands, please. Number eight. Olivia Osorio. There is a coffee station on the room. Uh, but it's not a coffee station. It's a coffee? Stain. Stain, okay, on the rug. Yeah, there's a coffee stain on the rug. Exactly. Thank you, Olivia. That is correct. As you can see here, there's a coffee stain. And number nine. Who has this one? Only one word left. Mm -hmm. The clock. Okay, the clock. Thank you. The clock is half hour slow. Está trazado media hora. Actually, it stopped. The battery must be dead. Okay, it doesn't work anymore. Very good. Some vocabulary for everybody. So your turn, also, this is extra. Uh, choose the best words to complete April's thoughts. So what about the first one? The mouse isn't working. I will have to recharge the battery or fix the battery. Which one is more appropriate? You're talking about the mouse, the computer mouse. Mm -hmm. Sandra. Recharge. I'll have to recharge the battery. That's correct. Thank you, Sandra. What about number two? I should really tighten or upgrade this software. I don't have the latest version. Raise your hands, please. Astrid Michelle, and then Jose Luis for the next one. Astrid. Upgrade. Upgrade, correct. I should really upgrade the software. Okay, thank you. Jose Luis, number three is for you. Something's wrong with the monitor. I have tried adjusting or replacing the settings, but it's just not right. I tried adjusting. I have tried adjusting the settings. That is correct. Thank you very much. What about number four? Raise your hand, please. Vanessa Sosa. Maybe I just need to... Clean. Clean the screen. Yeah, totally. Thank you, Vanessa. Very good. Number five, volunteer, please. Mm -hmm. Number five, who wants to participate? Uh, just. Who's speaking? Okay, Carlos. So if it can't be fixed, I wonder if the store will replace it or adjust it. Um, adjust. It. Adjust it. Are you sure? Um, I if have a doubt. <laughs> you have a doubt right there. Okay, let's take a look. If it can't be fixed, si no se puede arreglar, okay, I wonder, me pregunto, I wonder if the store will replace it or adjust replace it. it. Should be replaced it, Replace. right? Uh -huh. Lo va a reemplazar, oh. se lo van a cambiar. Okay, if it can't okay. be fixed, I wonder if the store will replace it. Very good. Thank you. Um, uh, everybody for your participation. Okay, nice. So one more thing here. Okay, one more exercise. Let's take a look. Your turn. Look at the picture, describe the problems, write eight sentences with need plus the verb in ing. Well, probably we're going to leave this for the next class because it's, it's a little bit late. And uh, I need to, I'm going to show you the answers to the first exercise. I think uh, somebody told me today that there was a problem. What exercise was it? I think it was this one. Okay. Ahora, en el ejercicio que estábamos viendo ayer, ya está, está resuelto. En caso que hayan tenido un poco de dificultad, como les comentaba, muchas veces eh, la respuesta, sobre todo en esos ejercicios donde hay que escribir, ya está dada. Es decir, Ya hay una respuesta programada y si uno no la pone exactamente, justo, 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 como lo han, como está eh, determinada, entonces se la va a tomar mal, aunque a lo mejor esté bien. Por ejemplo, aquí me parece, this tablecloth isn't very clean. It, then you have stain. 
por ejemplo en esta yo estuve va a probar y probar y resulta que solamente la toma buena si uno pone toda la oración entera que es it is tame y un punto verdad en las otras no es necesario ponerla completa ¿verdad? entonces ahí depende un poquito si alguien digamos se frustró un poco en este caso bueno es entendible pero por acá están dándoles una manita so could we could we have another water pitcher this one is leaking that's the right answer Number three, the table looks pretty dirty. The wood is scratched. Two. Esta solamente la toma correcta si le ponen el punto. Aunque la verdad no termina ahí la oración, pero bueno, sin, sin punto no la toma buena. Number four, the waiter needs a new shirt. The one he's wearing is torn. Number five, could you bring me another cup of coffee? This cup is chipped. And number six, the walls really need painting and the ceiling is damaged okay so that's the exercise right there just give me a moment as we go back to this okay we're going to try to do this exercise right here there is a moment I have to go directly over this part. It's 1.7. So take a look. Final exercise today. What needs to be done in this apartment? Write sentences about these items using need with gerunds or passive infinitives. Lo mismo que hemos estado haciendo. So you have two examples. The walls need to be painted or the walls need painting. What about... You have it here. The walls need painting or to, to be painted. What about the rug? See the rug right there. Volunteer, please. You have to give me the two forms. Vamos, último ejercicio. De ahí tomamos asistencia y terminamos. Alejandra Magaña, number two. Needs cleaning. The rug needs cleaning or? And needs to, needs to be clean the rug needs to be cleaned yeah the the rug needs cleaning or the rug needs to be cleaned thank you alejandra rosa esmeralda number three the windows the window wasn't nos falta ahí el verbo the windows the window wasn't uh the windows need oh mm -hmm. the, the windows window need wasn't Need or washing or to be to be mm -hmm. past participle to be mm -hmm. yes. Seria. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to help you right here. Number three, uh, the windows need washing or the windows need to be washed. Yes. Washed, right? Past participle. Thank you, Rosa. Carlos Alfredo and then Gabriela Cortez. Number four. No, okay, the, the, clothes need, the clothes need to pick it up. Um, to be picked up. To be picked up, uh huh. Or, or the clothes uh, need this picking need. up. Need picking up. Ah, need, need picking up. Uh -huh. The clothes need picking up, or the clothes need to be picked up. Thank you, Carlos. Gabriela Cortez, number five. The lampshade. I, I try. Okay. Um. The lamp shade okay, replacing. Okay, uh, what about the verb? The lamp shade, you need to ah, use the verb need, need. Uh -huh. needs, needs replacing. The lamp shade needs replacing or? Or um, the, lamp the lamp shade to be replaced. You forgot the, the verb. The, the lamp shade. The lamp shade. Need needs to be needs to be replaced. Yeah, the lampshade needs replacing or the lampshade needs to be replaced. Thank you, Gabriela. What about number six? 
Number six. Paula Maria. The wash the baskets needs um, emptying. Okay, the waste basket needs emptying. emptying. Or? Uh, or the waste ball to be needs to be emptying. Emptied. Okay, the waste basket emptied. needs emptying or the waste basket needs to be emptied. Thank you, Paola. Very good. Number seven, Olivia. The saving fund need adjusting. Mm -hmm. Or the or the saving fund to be uh, needs needs right needs mm -hmm. needs to be adjusted. Correct. The ceiling fan needs adjusting or needs to be adjusted. Okay, good. Number eight. The last one, please. I need a volunteer. Final volunteer, please. Vanessa Sosa. The plant needs water. Needs water. Well, yes, it needs water. <laughs> Pero como verbo sería, the plant needs? To be? To be? Water. What? To be watered. Uh -huh. Or the other form is, the plant needs? The plant needs watering. Watering, correct. The plant needs watering or the plant needs to be watered. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, this is section 1.7 of the platform. Vamos a verlo acá, rapidito. Let's see, number three, blah, blah, blah. we are here. Ya llegamos hasta este punto, fíjense bien. Okay, describing problems, part two. Creo que sigue ahí. Okay, so uh, describing problems, part two. Por favor, todos resuelvan hasta este punto, ¿verdad? Eh, si tienen algún problema, pueden siempre mandarlo por medio del grupo de WhatsApp y al día siguiente, que sería mañana, podemos ventilarlo acá eh, con todo el grupo para que así aprovechemos y aprendamos todos. Ok, I'm just going to take attendance now. Voy a llamar solamente a aquellos que todavía no me, han, no me han respondido porque a lo mejor se incorporaron después que los llamé. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Present. Okay. Present. Thank you. Yasmín Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Present. Ahí estamos. Manuel, thank you. Manuel Aristi de Murcia. Present. Thank you. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Olivia, Present. okay, thank you. Es que me fallaba el, el micrófono. El micrófono, okay, no problem. Pero ya estaba en la primera lista. Ah, okay, quizás se me, se me fue ponerle aquí el registro de asistencia, pero bueno, aquí está, no hay problema. Walter René Quintanilla, por ahí lo vi. Sí, presente. Okay, thank you. ¿Hay alguien a quien no haya mencionado? Nadie. Okay. Entonces, paramos por acá. Everybody, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your attention and for your participation. I will see you tomorrow. Good night and take good care. Good see night, you tomorrow. Take good care. Good night. Good night.